Hi, it's Deb from Deb's Days. It's Tutorial Tuesday, and today we're going to make these placemats. They're great for picnics, backyard barbecues, or any other occasion where you might need a paper plate, utensils, and napkins all contained in the same space. Before I get started, I publish new content frequently, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out the blog at debsdays.com. You'll find an entire section dedicated to free sewing and crafting projects and links to even more sewing and crafting tutorials. All right, let's get this project started. Along with your regular sewing supplies, for each placemat you will need two pieces of fabric measuring 18 inches by 18 inches. I'm using two different fabrics of 100% cotton, You'll need a piece of iron-on interfacing measuring 17 and a half inches by 17 and a half inches. And some clips or pins to hold things in place. You can find these measurements along with the supply list at debsdays.com. I've added a direct link in the description right below this video. We need to first iron the interfacing on to the wrong side of the fabric. Be sure to follow the directions on your interfacing packaging. Once the interfacing has cooled, let's place both fabrics right sides together. I'm going to use my clips to hold that in place. Using a quarter inch seam allowance, we're going to sew all the way around, but we do need to leave a space for turning. Now I need to go ahead and clip my corners and turn it right side out. You may find you need to stick something in those corners to get them pushed all the way out. I'm just using the tip of my scissors, but you could use a pencil or chopsticks. Just use whatever you have. Now that it's turned right side out, I'm going to go ahead and press that nice and neat. And I'm going to press that opening under. So fold that under your quarter of an inch and get yourself a nice sharp press there. Now I'm going to do a top stitch all the way around this and I'm going to make sure I catch that opening and close it. Now we have no open seams anywhere. Now it's time to fold up the pocket. Now this is up to you how much you'd like to fold it up. I think I'm going to go with about a six inch pocket. But you can go more or you can go less. I am going to press it down when I have the spot I'd like. Now I'm going to again use my clips and I'm going to clip the sides down so it holds it in place. Now I need to secure the pocket. I'm going to sew both sides and I'm going to sew the bottom as well. Now that I've stitched that all around, it's time to separate it into three pockets. Since the paper plate's going to take the biggest chunk of space, I'm going to make the biggest pocket first. Use your ruler to mark 11 inches over from the side. I'm going to stick a couple pins in there temporarily so I can double check the size. Fold over the end, kind of press it just a little bit, and then I have a line to work with. That's already my stitching line. Make sure you back tack at the beginning and at the end of the stitching. All right, we have the biggest pocket finished. Now we're going to make two more pockets. Fold over the end to meet that other stitching we did. Kind of press it just a little bit. I'll take that to the machine and stitch that line. Again, back tacking at the beginning and the end to secure it. And just like that, I have a picnic placemat. These are easy to store. Just fold them and tuck them in your bag. If you'd like to see more projects like this one, head on over to the blog at debsdays.com. You'll find an entire section dedicated to free sewing and crafting projects and links to even more sewing and crafting tutorials. See you next time with another project.